The lunatic is on the grass. The lunatic is on the grass. Remember. What if governments have known about and had the technology for safe or at least much safer nuclear power? What if this fuel was undeniably safer and more efficient than the fuels we're using for nuclear power today? And what if they buried this technology back in the 50s and 60s, defunded all R&D programs because the technology was not strategically conducive to nuclear weapons development and manufacturing? I want to talk to you about thorium. Um, I've been researching into this for the past week or so and I just want to share with you some of the things that I found out about thorium nuclear reactors. Thorium is a fertile versus fizzle material which unlike uran uranium uh, which is a natural fizzle material and does not require an external fuel source to generate chain reactions in the, re in the reactor. So in other words thorium is stable much m thorium is much more abundant and comes from a sand or rock component called monazite. It's found in abundance as a rare earth er everywhere on the planet. And the only country that has more thoria thorium reserves in the world than the United States is Australia. Okay, thorium generates energy much more efficient than U-235 or pl plutonium mixed oxides or MOX fuels. Thorium reactors or LFTRs, which if I could find a picture of one here, produce much, much less waste byproducts than uranium slash plutonium breeder reactors. How much less? How about one teaspoon versus one ton of nuclear radiological waste material. Catastrophic accidents are greatly reduced in thorium plants because thorium has a melt, for, for one reason, thorium has a melting point that's 500 degrees Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit higher than uranium fuel. So in other words, the meltdown of the fuels that we're seeing in Fukushima and that we saw in Chernobyl would be much less likely to happen in a thorium reactor than in a uranium reactor. Thorium reactors use a driver fuel, and this goes to stability again, um, to create the fizzle process to generate uh, the chain reactions in the reactor. So you don't have a runaway chain reaction meltdown as you have in uranium or, uranium or mixed oxide fuel reactors. For example, in the event of an accident, you, you remove the feeder fuel um, from the process and it stops the reaction. Unlike re uranium and MOX fuel reactors that don't require a feeder fuel, when meltdowns occur, they become self-contained self-perpetuating, and you end up with an ongoing, unstoppable catastrophe like we have in Fukushima and like we saw during the Chernobyl accident. Thorium generates about four to six times more energy per ton than either uranium or plutonium. Thorium reactors are much more efficient um, in compared to their capture versus fission ratios. Um, for example, thorium has a one-to-one -one capture fission ratio, while uranium has a one-to-six, plutonium a one-to-two or one-to-four, depending on the type of plutonium fuels that are being used in the reactor. Thorium is three to four times more abundant than uranium. Hmm and we're not using it. We're using these expensive uranium mining processes. Mined uranium requires isotope separation in thermal reactors while mined thorium does not. So in simple terms, if you look 
just on the return on investment on thorium based fuel it's got to be a whole lot better return on investment than uranium based fuels so from an economic standpoint using uranium versus thorium doesn't even make sense okay because of the capture ratios thorium cycle fuel produces much less transuranic or radiological hazardous materials than uranium or mixed oxide or MOX fuels. So why aren't we using it? Well, I'm going to tell you what I think. Thorium reactors, and this is key, listen to this. Thorium reactors do not produce plutonium byproducts. So, the DOD and the DOE are an inseparable, intertwined government agency. And they're risking our lives and extinction level events because the safer fuel doesn't produce the byproduct required for weapons of mass destruction nuclear weapons development. Another thing I, I just want to bring to your attention while we're on the subject here is there are 104 nuclear power plants in the United States. Most of these reactors are based on the same design and inherent flaws of the Fukushima Daiichi reactors. And think about this for a minute. Most of our reactors are roughly 30 plus years old. That's because that there was a halt placed on new nuclear plant construction over 30 years ago. Now, let me see here. So I want you to really ask yourselves, and I w I'd really love to have this question put out into the field, and that, that is why, since the cost to convert our current nuclear fuel reactors to a safer, more stable fuel based on thorium is not even being considered. Never mind it's not being done. It's not even be being considered. It was defunded 50 years ago, 40 to 50 years ago. And my question is, why? And I think we kind of answered that, you know, before in that the thorium reactors do not produce the plutonium byproducts necessary to create nuclear weapons. So in closing, I just want to ask, are you still sleeping? Are you awake yet? 